Ever wonder about those small, hard creatures clinging to rocks and ships? Yes, we're talking about barnacles. These unassuming marine dwellers are far more prevalent and fascinating than you might initially presume. They are the ubiquitous underdogs of the ocean, found in a variety of marine environments from the shallowest tide pools to the deepest oceanic trenches. Often overlooked, barnacles are the quiet achievers of the sea, silently going about their business while the more flamboyant sea creatures steal the limelight. They are the wallflowers of the oceanic ball, clinging to their dance partners, be it rocks, ships, or even whales, with a tenacity that is truly remarkable. Barnacles may not be the most glamorous or eye-catching of marine creatures, but they are undeniably fascinating. Their unique behaviors, survival mechanisms, and ecological roles make them a compelling topic of study. So buckle up and prepare to uncover the fascinating world of barnacles. Despite their small size and seemingly simple existence, barnacles are far from ordinary. Let's take a closer look at these marine marvels. Have you ever noticed their hard, protective shell? It's not just for show. This shell, or carapace, is composed of calcareous plates providing the barnacle with a robust armor against potential threats. It's their very own fortress, if you will, a testament to the harsh realities of the marine world. Yet it's not all about defense. Inside this shell, barnacles lead a sessile lifestyle. That's right, they're stationary, spending their entire adult lives attached to a single spot. They affix themselves to various substrates such as rocks, shells, and even the hulls of ships using a strong adhesive substance secreted by their base. This lifestyle might seem peculiar to us, but it's a survival strategy that has served barnacles well for millions of years. Now you might wonder, how do they eat if they don't move around? Well, barnacles are filter feeders. Using their feathery appendages known as cirri, they catch tiny particles of food drifting in the water. These cirri, which might seem delicate, are actually quite strong, allowing barnacles to feed even in turbulent waters. Together, these characteristics, the hard shell, the sessile lifestyle, and the filter feeding habits, make barnacles a unique part of the marine ecosystem. They're a testament to the incredible diversity of life beneath the waves, a reminder that even the smallest creatures can have a significant role to play. So the next time you spot these tiny fortresses on a rocky shore or a ship's hull, Take a moment to appreciate the barnacle. They might be small and they might not move much, but they're one of nature's survivors, perfectly adapted to their environment. As you can see, barnacles are quite extraordinary, aren't they? From free-swimming larvae to hard-shelled adults, the life cycle of a barnacle is a captivating journey. Let's delve into this fascinating transformation, a story of resilience and adaptation in the marine world. The life of a barnacle begins as a microscopic egg, laid by a mature female barnacle. These eggs are fertilized internally and then released into the water where they hatch into a larval stage called a nauplius. These nauplii are free-swimming and mostly feed on plankton. They go through six stages of growth, each time molting and developing a bit more, a process that can take several weeks. After this, the nauplius metamorphoses into a cyprid larva, the second and final larval stage. This is a non-feeding stage where the barnacle-to-be devotes its energy to finding a perfect spot to settle down for the rest of its life. They are equipped with special sensory antennae to help them locate a suitable surface, be it a rock, a ship's hull, or even a whale. Once the perfect spot is found, the cyprid larva cements itself headfirst to the surface using a strong adhesive released from its antennae. Undergoing a dramatic metamorphosis, it transforms into a juvenile barnacle, developing a hard calcium carbonate shell around itself for protection. As an adult, the barnacle remains firmly attached to its chosen spot, using its feathery appendages called cirri to filter feed from the water. It's a sessile creature now, meaning it stays in one place. The barnacle will grow and molt several times before reaching sexual maturity, ready to release its own eggs into the water, and the cycle begins anew. This life cycle, while complex, reflects the barnacle's incredible adaptation to life in the sea. From a free-swimming larva to a stationary adult, each stage of the barnacle's life is a testament to nature's ingenuity and survival, and thus a new generation of barnacles begins their life, continuing the cycle. Beyond their fascinating characteristics and life cycle, barnacles play a crucial role in their ecosystem. These unassuming creatures may seem insignificant, but their impact on the marine world is far from small. Firstly, barnacles serve as a vital food source for a variety of marine animals. From tiny fish to giant whales, 
Many creatures rely on these crustaceans for nourishment. The acorn barnacle, for instance, is a favorite treat for sea stars, while the gooseneck barnacle is a delicacy for birds like the turnstone. In a sense, barnacles are the unsung heroes of the food chain, their presence ensuring the survival of a vast array of species. But their ecological role doesn't stop there. Barnacles also provide a home for other marine life. That's right, these little fellows are real estate moguls of the undersea world. They attach themselves to various surfaces and then grow in clusters, forming a hard, protective shell. This creates a miniature habitat that offers shelter for tiny creatures like amphipods and copepods. In addition, barnacles play a crucial part in the process of succession, a term used to describe changes in an ecosystem over time. When barnacles attach themselves to a rocky surface, they pave the way for other organisms to move in. In fact, they are often the first creatures to colonize a new area, making them pioneers of the marine world. Lastly, barnacles help improve water quality by filtering out impurities. As filter feeders, they draw in water, consume the plankton, and expel cleaner water. This not only benefits the barnacles themselves, but also the overall health of the marine ecosystem. So when we talk about barnacles, we're not just talking about small, shelled creatures clinging to the underside of a boat. We're talking about a keystone species, a species that holds its ecosystem together. We're talking about nature's unsung heroes, each playing their part to maintain the balance of life beneath the waves. So barnacles are not just mere spectators in the marine world, but active participants shaping their environment. You may be wondering, how do barnacles affect us humans? Well, barnacles have a significant impact on our world in ways that may surprise you. They often hitch a ride on the hulls of ships, causing what we call biofouling. This added weight and roughness can increase fuel consumption by up to 40%. Quite a hitchhiker, isn't it? But it's not all mischief and trouble. Barnacles also play a crucial role in scientific research. Their unique adhesive, stronger than any superglue we've invented, is a subject of intense study. Imagine a surgical adhesive inspired by barnacles that works underwater or in the human body. And let's not forget barnacles are a source of food in some cultures, adding a unique flavor to many coastal cuisines. Whether we notice or not, barnacles touch our lives in more ways than we might imagine. So next time you see these tiny creatures, remember there's more to them than meets the eye.